Hi, right, I'm back. Uh, this is the second video on uh, meridian kinesiology. And after the brief introduction video, what I really wanted, to, one of the things I wanted to talk about was, was um, what kinesiology treats, how we use kinesiology to treat um, people. And that's really the key to the whole thing. Kinesiology, you know, people ask you all the time, you know, does kinesiology treat heart disease? Does it treat diabetes? Does it treat arthritis? Does it treat a sore hip? Can you fix this? Can you fix that? Well, what kinesiology really is, or what it does, is I often say, well, we actually treat people. Because you see, the way our systems work. Uh, this is a self-generating, self-repairing body. And so what we're looking to do is to help a person get back to optimum health. Now, if you're going to treat arthritis or if you're going to treat um, diabetes or heart disease or something like that, you're looking at a specific symptom that is now showing in that person from a long-standing imbalance and I mean long-standing long-standing imbalance <coughs> that needs to be solved before the heart disease or the arthritis or the diabetes or whatever can be dealt with. Now, um, Andrew Verity I think it was the one who, who uh, explained to me but uh, I'm sure others have as well that disease actually manifests or a symptom actually manifests when the imbalance in the in the body has reached around 60 to 65 percent now that means that you're walking around with imbalances in your system that haven't reached there if you haven't got any symptoms but if you've got symptoms then the imbalance that's caused those symptoms has reached 60 to 65 percent. Muscle testing, if done properly, can pick up an imbalance less than 2 percent. So hence, based on the Chinese philosophy of catching disease before it manifests, before it becomes a disease, catching sickness before you become sick, is the theory behind what we do uh, with kinesiology. So, what we're looking to do is we're looking to treat people to help them get back to optimum health. That is why somebody can come in with a particular symptom because that's what it is. It's a symptom. It's not the problem. It's a symptom of the problem. And somebody can come in with heart disease or diabetes or arthritis or a sore knee or whatever and the muscle testing will help you find what caused that. That's what we're looking to do, find the cause. Now, it may take a little while. However, the, the point being, it, it's quite often a, a case where um, nutrients and supplements and things like that are, um, help the body. But, you know, somebody comes in with a, with a hormone imbalance, for instance, and um, we treat, or we shouldn't, but we do treat the hormone imbalance. Point is, my question is, well, why is the, why are the hormones imbalanced? What, what what's going on? Here's the where's the problem? Now it could be that if there's a pancreas problem, or a liver problem, or a thyroid problem, or an adrenal problem, and all of a sudden you're giving them a support that's not for hormonal balance. And you know, people say, but that's not for hormones. No, but it's for what's causing the hormone imbalance. And that's the whole key. If, if kinesiology, I believe, if kinesiology is done properly with the right sort of muscle testing, then we can get to that cause. Um, I had a, a case a little while ago <coughs> of a gentleman who came in with a very sore right knee. And uh, he'd had scans on it and they couldn't find anything. He'd had ultrasounds, they couldn't find anything. 
So when I tested him, he was a client, when I tested him, it turned out that he'd been getting reflux for about, oh, I don't know, a month, I think he said. And uh, that was very interesting to me because I had been treating this guy over the last few years from time to time and he'd never mentioned reflux, but he was starting to get reflux. So on investigation, I found out that his stomach acid was low. His uh, hydrochloric acid in his stomach was, was very, very low. So on, with the testing, and I found that out with the testing, of course, and uh, it turned out that the knee problem was caused by um, the meridian energy flowing down the leg which, in fact, wasn't flowing at all. And so his knee was out of balance. Now, usually, for instance, I would think that if a knee's out of balance, I would think of hip. But the hip wasn't out. Nobody could find anything that was out until I found the stomach acid problem. Now, it turned out that the thing we had to do was we had to give him what's called betaine. Betaine is uh, uh, hydrochloric acid basically. We had to give him these capsules. And it was quite interesting because this had been going on, his sore knee had been going on for about two to three weeks and um, maybe a month, I can't remember. But uh, he rang me up two days after he started taking the betaine and said the knee pain's gone completely. Now, if you tell orthodox medicine that you cured a sore knee with hydrochloric acid, they'd laugh at you. But the whole point is, is that we found where the problem was, what was causing the problem, alleviated what was causing the problem, and of course the symptom, which was the sore knee, went away. Simple. If you follow the muscle testing. And this is, this is so important because I believe that as I discussed in the first video, to test muscles accurately, not just pulling down on muscles or anything like that, but to test muscles accurately is vitally important. And that's one of the things that I'm going to be discussing over the, the course of a number of videos as to how we do the different stages of muscle testing and that sort of thing. So the point about kinesiology and natural health rather than orthodox medicine. Orthodox medicine has a place, obviously, but they can't treat illness. They treat, uh, they're very good at treating accidents and things like that, but you see what they need to be able to do is they need to be able to find the cause of the problem. And the cause of the problem is simply if you, for instance, ask your doctor why you've got blood, high blood pressure, he'll say, well, no one knows. Whereas that's the whole idea of what we do. We can find out, generally speaking, why you've got a particular symptom and we can find out what you've got to do to get back to optimum health. So it doesn't cure anything. It doesn't fix a disease. It works with your body to, well, this is kinesiology, I mean, to get it back to optimum health. And that's what we're going to be discussing over the next few weeks with these videos. So thank you for watching. And uh, I have to do the 10 minute videos because they don't allow you to do any more than that. And um, so I will be doing this in 10 minute slots. Over the next few weeks we will be running uh, a number of videos on the various things that we do, how we treat them, and we'll have demonstrations. I know everybody wants to say, oh, well, how do you do it, you know? Um, that's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll show you, we'll give you demonstrations on how we do it and uh, discuss the whole situation with you. So thank you very much for watching and catch you next time.